<sighs> so finding that comfortable seat, if you haven't already, finding a space where your sit bones feel connected to your earth, whatever that might be, the floor or a cushion or a chair. Just start to let your sit bones and your tailbone start to root down into your earth. You can kind of imagining yourself, imagining the, the hips and the tailbone the sit, and the sit bones like a, like a flower bulb that's deep under the soil. And that rooted, anchored flower bulb, deep under the soil, starting to grow up and out to the sun. Just start to feel your spine growing tall from that root of your tailbone and sit bone. And as the spine grows up and out, like a stem emerging from that bulb, just start to feel the crown of your head lift and kind of open up, just like a beautiful, brilliant spring blossom, like a tulip. Just start to notice what that visualization, what sort of sensations does it bring in the physical body? And what sort of sensations does it bring in the mind, in our thoughts and emotions? Just checking in with that. Just start to roll the torso, just trying to make some circles, some swoopy circles with the torso. The hands can rest on the thighs, and just rolling in either direction. Notice how your body weight shifts in the four points of your hips, the tailbone, the sit bones, at the front toward the pubic bone. And then switch directions. And starting to make your way back into stillness. Just make some circles with the shoulders. Rolling out the shoulders. And then when you're ready, switch directions, roll them out the other way. Just kind of feel your arms along for the ride. And releasing those circles, let's make some infinity loops, some figure eights with the shoulders. You can just feel the fluidity of the spine, feel the shoulder blades gliding across the upper back. And then switch direction. And releasing those circles. Let's pump the shoulders. And then let it go. And then take a moment, just check in. When you're ready, gently lower the chin to chest. Feel the stretching on the back of the neck. And then following the breath with an inhale, roll your left ear to your left shoulder. Let it hang heavy to the left shoulder. Feel the stretching of the right side neck. Right. With an exhale, roll the chin back to chest. Take a moment. And with your next inhale, roll the right ear to the right shoulder. Now feel the opening on the left side neck. Right. With the exhale, Chin rolls back to chest and then just move through with inhale and exhale, stretching open the right side neck and stretching open the left side neck. We'll just do this a few times. Right, take one more round, stretching the right side and stretching the left side. And when you finish, just let the chin come back to chest. No rush. 
and the chin comes back to chest. Just take a moment there and pause. And very slowly lift the head. And then just noticing, just checking in, seeing what has changed or shifted and what's constant, what's changeless. Preparing for our breathing exercise. The pranayama that we'll explore today is the same one we've been exploring all week, Samadhi Pranayama, so the equal distance breathing or the, the square breath. So again, there's going to be four parts to the breath. The inhale, the space at the very top of the inhale just before it turns to the exhale, the exhale, and the space at the very bottom of the exhale right before it turns into the inhale. So that's going to be the four parts of the breath. We're going to do an equal distance on all four of those portions of the breath. So we'll use a 10 count, or pardon, not a 10 count, we'll do a, a, a four count for the breath. Um, we'll take seven rounds of the technique. I'll guide the first three, and then you'll take the last four on your own. And just a uh, little housekeeping, if for any reason um, holding the breath, the top or bottom of the breath feels um, awkward, creates any sense of anxiety, or um, just doesn't feel comfortable or sustainable, then you can always omit those breath retentions and just do equal distance on inhale and exhale. Maybe just having a, a little pause between the breaths just to notice those spaces. Wonderful. So hands can rest on the knees. You can have the palms facing up or down. If you'd like to take a mudra, the symbol over here is going to be chin or gyan mudra. If you let the palm face down, that's chin mudra. It's a little more grounding. If the palm is facing up on the knee, that's gyan mudra, and that's more receiving. In addition, you can take what's called prana mudra, which are going to be these two fingers, the middle and index fingers, on both hands, and just palms facing up, you can rest those on the knees as well. So preparing your hands however feels best. Let's all take a deep inhale. Open the mouth, big exhale. And then we'll begin. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Pause, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Pause, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Pause, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Pause, four, three, two, one. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Pause. Inhale, take the next four rounds on your own. And if you mess up the technique at all, if you mess up the pattern, it's okay. Just come back whenever you're ready.
whenever you finish your last round. Release the technique and just notice. Notice the effects of some Riki Guanyang. to close or having a soft and gentle gaze at the tip of the nose or the space between the eyebrows. Playing the gentle sound of the singing bowl and to guide you deep within to your highest, truest self. the gentle sound of the singing bowl guide you within to your highest, truest self. And starting to let that profound and deep yet subtle inner awareness let it start to settle at the very center of the chest, the spiritual heart center, right behind the breastbone. Bring the attention to the very center of the chest, the spiritual heart center, right behind the breastbone. And as you turn that inner awareness to the spiritual heart center, to the highest and truest self, and you start to listen in deeply to the messages of the heart. Listen in to the messages of your highest and truest self. the mind wanders, it's okay. Just offer yourself compassion. Stay curious and return to your practice whenever you're ready. Returning to the awareness of your highest and truest self at the spiritual heart center. As you listen in to those messages of your heart, allow it to formulate and distill into a single word, that single purest word from your heart, and letting that be a seed of intention called the Bija Sankalpa, the seed of intention, straight from your highest and truest self. As you hold your awareness at the heart, start to mentally repeat that seed of intention to yourself. that it is real and that it's already happening here and now. And then 
mentally repeating, your bija sankalpa, your seed of intention. And with the awareness at the heart, start to let that awareness spread. Letting your intention start to grow and manifest its presence throughout your entire being, mind, body, soul. Start to sense the expansion, the growth of your intention going beyond the surface of your skin, expanding out into the world. and expansion, that manifesting of your bija sankalpa out into the world, start to visualize that growth coming back within, coming back into the body, and start to sense that seed coming back into your heart, a golden white seed, no larger than a grain of rice. And sense how this practice has nourished and strengthened that seed of intention. And drawing the palms heart center, let the thumbs rest at the breastbone. And the awareness at the heart, that seed of intention. Start to notice that little space between your palms. Now visualize that golden white seed of intention in your heart. Visualize that seed moving from your heart into that space between the palms. And let it start to grow there and blossom open into a brilliant flower. Keeping your thumbs touching and keeping your pinkies touching, let the index fingers part, let the middle fingers part, and let the ring fingers part starting to open up the palms into the shape of a flower. This is called Padma Mudra, the lotus, blossoming open in the radiant light of your soul. Smell the fragrant aroma, the blossoming of your intention. And then gently let the palms come back together to prayer, into that shape of a flower bud. And visualizing that little golden white seed in the center of your palm, let that seed Move back into your heart, and from there, let it dissolve and diffuse throughout your entire being, knowing that that intention is always with you as it comes from your highest and truest self. Slowly bring awareness back into the body. Reconnecting to the world around you. Reconnecting to the physical self. Hear the sounds of the world around you. And hear the sounds coming from within you. Invite gentle movement. Notice the temperature of the room and textures on your skin. Softly and gently blink open the eyes and just take in what you see.
Swallow a few times. Notice the watery sensation in the mouth, any flavors on the tongue. Deep in the breath. And smell the aromas of the world around you. And when you're ready, draw the palms heart center. Let the awareness come back to the heart. And opening your heart and mind to the sound of this mantra. If you know it, please join along. Om Mani Padme Hum Om Shanti 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 He The jewel of the lotus is me. I am the jewel of the lotus. Peace, peace eternal peace. Thank you all for being here with me and for sharing and practice with me this morning. Have a beautiful rest of your day.